today we're gonna play a game that i have heard about for years and that is none other than war and order and i'm gonna be honest guys a lot of games these days don't survive for eight years so war and order must be doing something right so i'm excited to jump right in but first what's going on guys cheers all right let's just move this joystick let's see can we run around can we can we avoid the tutorial oh it looks like we're kind of boxed in here okay let's just do what they say we'll we'll keep it simple okay we've got a skeleton a monster is walking quickly towards me okay so I've chopped him down and now I can grab his little gem here and it looks like you get an upgrade when you hit 100 so okay let's go ahead and just kill these monsters there we go we hit 100 and we can choose between three different buffs but the tutorial wants us to take summon firebird conjure the firebird and shoot feathers at the enemy to deal damage okay so now we've got allegedly a firebird oh it's flying around look at that that's kind of cute okay let's go grab these gems here so warning tons of monsters are assembling over here okay so wait, wait wait a minute wait a minute okay let's let's oh this is we're fine we're fine oh we got the firebird just popping off up there and i think the firebird finished him off so there we go we got our first little victory here so hopefully they'll tell us why we were in the dungeon with the monsters to begin with here we've got bella here looking lovely she says my lord from this day forward this castle belongs to you I'm the advisor of this castle, Bella, and I will help you govern this city. So I'm guessing I was just a knight that wandered into an abandoned castle filled with monsters and I took it over. We successfully entered the castle. Currently, we're lacking forces. Expanding our forces is extremely urgent. I recommend recruiting soldiers first. Okay. There's some empty land in the center of the city we can use to build the barracks and recruit soldiers. Seems pretty straightforward to me, chief. I'm going to zoom in for you guys a little bit. Okay. Let's tap the barracks and it says, boom, we'll build that. And there we go. Tap the barracks to recruit troops go ahead and hit recruit and there we go we've got some basic swordsmen my dude's looking a little rough here but you know I wouldn't want to get on his bad side if I met him at a tavern okay he looks like he could definitely take me let's go ahead and recruit a hundred of those so we tap that and boom okay we've got some power those monsters also destroyed the farms we must rebuild them to safeguard our food supply okay I agree with your suggestion let's not delay building the new farms let's go ahead and do that and here we've got a beautiful countryside by the way look at the little waterfalls we have a nice little beautiful port over here we've got some sparkles on the on the ship i hope that possibly i can unlock that ship and there's a lighthouse over here as well world's looking kind of beautiful i'm gonna keep it real with you okay we got the farm produces and holds food upgrade to increase production okay let's go ahead and build that and let's grab that okay we got a single power point for that i know i cut off the top of the screen so you can't see it but i got 3,000 power okay my lord the order in the city has already recovered thanks to you i couldn't have done it without you bella i mean come on look at you it's bad though more monsters are assembling on the periphery if they continue to assemble our previous hard work will have been in vain however those monsters aren't united so it's not worth being afraid i will kill them personally okay oh we're back in the dungeon baby okay so let's go ahead and kill all monsters so let's go we got to get a little bit closer we deal it looks like we deal 60 damage per sword swipe here so boom it looks like oh okay it looks like our oh we got a crit right there you saw that i got 120. so we can summon the firebird again which will fly around and deal damage or we can get a 10 percent all damage boost or we can increase health by 10 percent i feel like i'm just i'm gonna just not take damage so let's get our firebird back we got it's a phoenix basically i mean that's that's phoenix right there i'm gonna call him fox i'm gonna call that dude fox oh we got some okay they got a bigger shield now these dudes got a bigger shield so okay i gotta remember to pick up these gems because that's how i'm getting these upgrades here so we get a new skill here we can increase the star level of of the firebird which will increase the number of feathers and increase damage okay so i don't know what the feathers have to do with it do with it it still looks like it's the same bird oh it, it probably shoots more bullets and each bullet probably deals more damage I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is these dudes are fast bro these little these little like what are these oh my god what those little those little mutants are charging at me so here we can see this doubles the attack speed and incre increases the number okay so that sounds like it's super op he's gonna be basically an attack helicopter up there look at him he's mowing him down i don't even have to do anything bro fox is popping off let's grab all the oh let's get all these gems Yo, I'm playing on easy mode now. Let's go, bro. Okay, so now we can recover health, which we don't need, or we get a 10% damage boost. We're obviously going for all damage, baby. We're going for all damage. And there we go. We got the W again. These little roguelike missions are, ooh, chef's kiss. I love it. I played a ton of Hall of Torments back when that first came out, and this is giving me the same vibes, except it has a city builder attached to it. So I'm really excited to see how the gameplay evolves. And of course, if you want to join us on an adventure here 
in war and order there's going to be a link down in the description below so you can download the game for free of course this video is sponsored by the makers of war and order and without generous sponsors like them i wouldn't be able to make all the content that i make here on the channel so please consider giving them a try let's jump right back into the adventure here it says i recommend building the hospital as soon as possible to heal the wounded okay so i mean look i feel like fox kind of took care of all the monsters i feel like we shouldn't really have any wounded let's go ahead and build the hospital just for good measure and bella asked nicely let's go ahead and do that we'll go ahead and heal and it looks like we did get a a knight swordsman longbowman and mage oh we have mages in the game i like that a lot we get the high fantasy theme going on here okay so that's really nice the city and the surrounding areas have now recovered to normal we have to strengthen the castle construction as much as possible it is the foundation of our city and determines the limit of our city's strength so let's go ahead and do that we're going to upgrade the actual castle itself so boom we've got more than enough food and wood that we need to uh, go ahead and upgrade that and we get the free upgrade a little bit of fireworks that you saw that okay regarding our future development i have a detailed plan my lord please take a look at it this plan is thoughtful i like it we might as well call it king's road okay i'm gonna guess that's the sort of quest line that we're gonna go over here my lord if we follow the plan to make progress we can become powerful quickly and boom king's road let me see is this the sort of continued tutorial there it is chapter one recover production challenge savior of order stage two okay so we're going back into the dungeon baby oh i can't wait to fight that dude that's gonna be sick okay kill all monsters we have a new skill called lightning chain okay so let's go ahead and let's let's move around here and this dude doesn't have as big of the shields as we saw last time i feel like uh if they start to spawn any faster than they're already spawning though I feel like my low rate of fire is going to be a problem here but here we can see okay lightning chain casts lightning dealing damage to a large number of nearby enemies so let's do that i'm hoping this is another passive thing oh it is you can see in the top of the screen there actually you can't because i have it a little bit cut off here because it just looks a little bit it looks a little better zoomed in i'm gonna keep it real with you guys i think it looks a little bit better zoomed in so anyway we're gonna go through and should we get more chain lightning increases damage of lightning and increase the number of enemies damage yeah we're gonna go all in on just one and then once we get it upgraded then we're gonna go for we're gonna go for our uh, firebird we're gonna go for the the phoenix okay look at these mutants running at me bro they're sprinting at me oh good thing i have a lot of health because i'm just taking i'm just tanking a little bit of that damage to be honest with you guys i'm tanking a little bit of damage but i think we got this we should be fine um, oh we got a green dude over here what's that green dude right there does he give me something bonus i know in other other games like this there's some like rare spawns that give you not something nice you can cast two lightning chains yes give me that that's double damage right there that's an easy easy oh look at it it just it creeps through all the mobs you know what though i kind of feel like my firebird was a little bit better am i wrong oh man no that really clears him up let's grab the firebird and now we're really cooking with gas like literally because he's made of fire and there it is dude that was easy okay so we got one of the i don't know what this is but we got some speed ups we got some i'm guessing food and wood perhaps so my lord we just got a valhalla's core let's use it to increase the heroic evolutions level increase the heroic evolutions level to help you quickly clear the preceding stages okay so here's my hero let's go ahead and evolve this dude and boom we've gained a talent point up here i know i've uh, zoomed out now and that's probably a little bit confusing but i want to show this to you guys so we gained a talent point and it just gives me more attack so the next talent point is going to give me double hp okay honestly we haven't needed hp so far so i'm not too worried about that yet but we'll get there eventually okay so let's come back here oh we can look at our city from another angle oh my god it actually looks really beautiful i'm gonna be honest with you guys and here we have the merchant ship and i want my daily reward let's claim that that must be why it was sparkling oh that's that's nice man the world is actually looking really beautiful you guys i'm real excited about this now our builder sitting here doing nothing go ahead and start to build something here we got to build another barracks so let's do that and we can claim this all right now we can upgrade the castle wall to level two so here we've got our castle walls let's upgrade that and this will increase the city defense so that's an instant upgrade i like how these early upgrades you just get them done just get them done you just do what you got to do and they're they're, they're out of here okay let's upgrade the castle level three and then bella stops us and says my lord we need to strengthen the construction of castle as much as possible it's the city's most important foundation okay we need to construct the castle as fast as possible then we can build other functional buildings and facilities for even better development and there's a lot of empty plots of land around here so that does make sense i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna gem it for free okay no gems required there so we get a higher lord power 
we've unlocked the college we've got six more plots of land okay so we are truly feeling like a lord now everyone knows that lords are landowners okay we are landlords and everybody i mean that's everyone's dream to be a landlord you know what i mean so let's go ahead and claim we get a we have a thousand soldiers oh we've leveled up okay so now we have more power and we have three skill points which is really good increase your lord level to get valuable skill points what do they do use skill points to boost your lord's skills and get even more powerful active lord skills lord skills can increase my strength a lot i'll try it out right away do that so boom we'll claim this we get more food and wood so we're basically balling out of absolute control here ladies and gentlemen and now we can build a second arm look at that beautiful little windmill i feel like life would just be so simple if i was just on that farm with a refreshing beverage of course cheers simpler times let's go ahead and build that same this and let's go ahead and build two sawmills i don't think we built one before but man the art style of this game reminds me of like warcraft 3 in the best way in like the most nostalgic cozy like early 2000s pc like oh i'm excited all right so we got 10 swordsmen and we got some speed ups for that and we also have some construction quests we can claim here so boom we're getting we're getting speed ups and we're getting a bunch of resources for all this and now we've leveled up to level three which gives us even more stuff so this is really good now i know we just got some talent points so let's come in here okay who's this hello whoa okay, okay dude i mean like okay she's looking uh she's looking uh, she's looking powerful i'm gonna be coming to keep it real with you guys so is this is this me though do i get to customize this character or like do i get another lord oh i do get another lord okay yo what's this dude oh we got a mage okay why is she looking like taylor swift though okay i mean i like the staff that's actually sick i feel like these are like different classes but like this dude is a literal giga chad can i change my name wait do the different do they all have different skills so battle flag one raises soldier recruitment speed if i change to him the same thing so i don't think it makes a difference so i'm gonna leave our girl she's actually looking she's looking she's looking ferocious okay she's looking formidable let's go ahead and upgrade that oh we have development i should have gone for development tech yeah building construction speed is actually going to be way more important can i take that back i can't okay this requires building speed one to five so we're gonna we're actually gonna max that out i did have enough points for that which is really good we don't need to carry any resources yet but we're actually out of points so it doesn't matter so okay so that's good i was i'm glad i picked up on that you at the beginning of games like this you always want to go for the development tech first because we have a lot of developing to do now here we have the event page we have jester's party looks like this is a okay that's kind of cute actually i like that we can't do any spins we must be broke oh no we got one free spin let's get one free poker card oh we need five cards to do a, a spin okay so never mind here we have uh oh this looks like some, some sort of battle pass which is just free goodies for us so that's awesome let's give me yeah we got a bunch of we just got vip and everything okay here we've got a growth fund okay tons of gems there that's a nice little event page and we've got a daily little crate of goods this is the shops so there's a lot of value to be had here in the shop uh we're gonna go over that maybe a little bit later here we can build our second sawmill and that should finish off the first chapter of king's road super exciting stuff look at all this we get another upgrade to our, uh, our skills that we were using in the dungeon so that's really exciting there we get some gems okay so let's confirm that chapter two develop technology upgrade the city wall to level three let's get a, get a good look at that city wall it's looking it's looking real regal i'm feeling real fancy this game's making me feel rich in order to do that we have to upgrade the castle first okay so great news we can just finish the castle instantly we've unlocked the embassy the beast den and the medic tent okay bella where's that unusual sound coming from recently my lord it sounds like the ancient stones in the castle are in an uproar it seems as though the person spoken of by the oracle is going to appear come with me oh has another strange situation emerged i hope there won't be a problem the ancient stones being activated means the beast will emerge the oracle says that only a true warrior can get the legendary beast you are really fortunate my lord okay so we we get in a, are we getting a legendary beast here oh we can select our beast okay so this seems like a big deal this is almost like a pokemon type of moment where you get to choose your starter here so we've got the panda the dragon the pegasus and the phoenix 
Now I'm feeling a little bit like I should go for the Phoenix because I feel like the Phoenix has helped us out already in some of these dungeons already. It says the ancient beast emerges from flames and it has the ability to control life and death for an enemy. It is their worst nightmare. Panda says the stout appearance make people let their guard down easily. Perhaps people will only remember its former glory when it displays real. Kung Fu. The dragon says its hard scales hide its fierce breath. Also, it possesses the dual abilities of fire and ice. Its powerful strength is the enemy's nightmare. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with the dragon. Are the stats really that that different? The dragon has way more attack than the panda, but the panda has more HP. They have the same defense. And okay, so it looks like the phoenix and dragon have higher attacks. I'm gonna go with the dragon. I, I just feel like in every game i typically go for the dragon and i think i made the right choice bro he's looking sick dude he's breathing fire he looks huge by the way so okay we just literally got a dragon i feel like we're making tremendous progress we are doing work right now so there he is my dude okay can i change my name i can let's change my name okay wait oh it costs gems i don't have gems oh that's unfortunate maybe i'll get a name change from like the quest line or something like that all right let's claim the castle wall upgrade now we can build our college and it is time yes we really want to speed up the research strengths of the castle okay yeah so getting the research done early is probably a good thing because technology makes construction yes exactly bella that's exactly what i was thinking more efficient yes to be more precise increase everything such as resources, development, military, and city defense. Sounds good. Let's get started, shall we? Okay. Let's go ahead and do this. And boom, look at that college. Oh my God. It feels like, I feel like I'm in Stormwind. Like this is sick. Okay. Let's go ahead and build the college. So we get some resources there. Start researching architecture in the college to level one. Seriously. Yes. Bella, where should we begin with technology research? Well, since construction is essential for castle development, the earlier we speed up construction, the larger our earnings will be yes the snowball effect the game the tutorial is on point here my lord is naturally gifted oh bella the shucks you shouldn't have so let's go into the research here we'll go development architecture is the first one makes the most sense it's gonna take two minutes two minutes for that upgrade so we'll leave that be here and let's go ahead and claim this and unlock two blocks of land outside the castle the land outside the castle wall is something we can't be without we can continuously develop lots of resource buildings and logistics buildings can we continue to develop new land now of course we can hurry up to develop a new piece of land okay so so let's see here let's unlock this and boom it clears out a bunch of the debris here now I feel like I can oh I can choose if I want stone mines iron mines okay so in every single piece of this land here I can choose what I want and I feel like we're we're doing good on I feel like we're doing good on resources let's see what the tutorial wants us to do later okay challenge savior of order stage three okay so let's jump on in here and we'll jump into stage three we got the gale sword okay my lord you can increase the challenge strength currently go to heroic evolution to boost it and get better challenge experiences let's do that oh i see okay so let's upgrade this so this is we're gonna get the double health like i talked about before and then that's all we can get for now so let's go ahead and do this and boom let's kill all the monsters once again all right so this dude oh i thought he didn't have a shield i didn't see it for a second so let's grab these gems let's get our first upgrade what was it, it was gale something we got the gale something it's something we can look forward to it's called gale sword swing two swords when attacking dealing damage to the enemy Ooh, you know i'm feeling like that's not the play but i'm gonna try it anyway because it's new oh it's in both directions okay just kidding that is actually really good that is well you know what actually it's not as good as it seems because it's not a one shot and it doesn't knock them back so that feels like a good end game thing let's just keep going because i'm curious now because now we're moving in all three directions oh we crit that guy you saw 336 damage remember we're we were dealing 60 damage on stage one so our damage is already oh that is that not even a crit oh it is a crit okay yeah we're critting we're critting quite quite impressively here remember our damage was 60 at the beginning so we've already like really leveled up our damage in, in the game so far so okay let's go for I'm gonna go with chain lightning again because I feel like it it does kind of what is this hello D oh I thought I killed him in one shot but it turns out that he just popped off okay so we're oh oh look at chain lightning just farming for me give me all the gems yes okay so now we're gonna go with gale sword again and it says swings four swords increases damage and range okay that's exactly what we need we need yes dude it looks like a force field 
it looks like nothing can you can anything get into can i just sit here i'm just gonna sit here yeah i'm so powerful between this and my other skill like what, what's gonna touch me now okay the archers yeah i guess the archers can get me okay all right i guess my my I guess my strategy wasn't perfect but that was kind of sick i love in these games when you can just stand there and just kill everything let's upgrade chain lightning again and we will just basically top off here we're basically clearing them out of the way so we can grab the gems that the chain lightning is killing them with or getting them with so that's that's good oh oh we got a oh i don't even need the yellow gem okay perfect so now we can uh oh actually we need two of those to get the next skill unfortunately can we do i want to do this again let's go ahead and kill all monsters here and let's see okay so let's kill you 240 no big deal like literally just obliterating them okay let's oh we have ice strike cast ice to deal damage to the enemy and reduce the enemy's movement speed Ooh, so we get a little bit of a slowdown here now this is only gonna be oh that's real that's real good oh, oh the cooldown's really long though i know you guys can't see it because it's cut off but it's like a three or five second cooldown yeah so that's actually the downside so it is big damage and a big slowdown but it's really low cooldown or really long cooldown sorry so okay yeah see that's the problem is i'm killing them too quickly and so the cool it's a waste almost i almost wish that it wasn't a passive skill i almost wish it was active so i could choose when to use it and i could kind of like cast it in a certain direction or in a certain area that i wanted it to go because that would make it a lot more useful so i'm not gonna i don't love the cooldown here but i feel like it's new so i gotta try it out you know what i mean i feel like i just gotta at least give it a try oh see the the range or the the size is huge what i really need though is is a lower cooldown i need the speed to be faster i need to like I need to like nuke them from orbit you know what i mean like i really need to pop off of this but like look at that blast radius man it's huge Ooh, ooh, that's a heal yes give me that i need that i'm not loving it i'm gonna be honest with you two ice strikes and increased damage yeah double double ice strikes is what we absolutely need yes sir yes sir let's go through here oh you saw that oh my god it popped off that golem kind of survived almost for a second i'm assuming it's a golem right it's a little like a uh, big rock dude oh let's upgrade chain lightning again and i think what is that oh a magnet oh that i know what that is yes yes i've played games like this before the magnet is always what you want it's going to give you all the upgrades you ever need you ever needed oh there we go and let's finish off chain lightning and let's see how we can do here i mean we're basically unstoppable now i mean come on i mean we like maxed out chain lightning we maxed out the like look at that it's just nuking them oh baby there we go okay all right let's grab all these oh we got a treasure chest over here let's grab that and what did we get here we can choose between firebird or gale sword let's grab uh oh we got both oh bro we're invincible now i mean what what could they really do let's get another firebird oh this dude's real quick oh get out get out of my way yo where's the slowdown there's the slowdown there's the slowdown oh he does he take damage as he's in the radius there i didn't even notice that before yo i need some movement speed for this dude oh i need some movement speed man i gotta keep chain lighting this why why is my firebird not hitting him why is my firebird not he should be he should be oh bro he should be on top of this dude oh there we go we did it okay so we get another upgrade from our skills what is this i have no idea what that is so let's go into heroic evolution and boom we get there we go more move speed so that's like a little more than 10 percent more move speed actually which is really good can we unlock this as well we can we get more attack points amazing okay so we're making a lot of progress here but now we have to finish off chapter two and we've got more food and wood let's claim this and we've completed the quest line so there we go we can finish that and activated the lord's skill let's recruit some archers my lord we already have powerful melee infantry now we can recruit some ranged archers to coordinate with them good suggestion let's recruit them to the army as soon as possible so here we have the embassy oh they wanted us to go to the barracks oops okay so let's go ahead and recruit some archers we can recruit a lot of archers okay so how many do we need for the quest actually we need 30. okay so we only need 30. so let's just do 30 for now because i feel like we might have to do something else later with this and we don't want the queue filled you know what we probably have a five minute speed up right yeah we have a five minute speed up let's just use that 
and we will finish the quest here so oh we used one speed of item two birds one stone right there we're super look we're min maxing we're so efficient it's crazy bro efficiency is just in my blood for these games i'm always min maxing let's go ahead and upgrade the castle so here we have again it's a 10 minute wait probably not gonna wait um unlocks classic mode and defense command and the training ground so okay let's claim that and oh i didn't even realize that there was a growth map for the college itself as well so okay let's claim that and we finish chapter three solid strength i feel like we were speed running chapter three that was easy baby we leveled up to level four and we have six thousand power so we have doubled our power already ladies and gentlemen and here we go we have another upgrade to our skills here and let's claim that uh we kind of sped ahead a little bit in the uh in in the dungeon there monsters are running rampant they are constantly becoming stronger and the troops are powerless we need to give the troops better equipment and quickly set up new units that is to say we need to focus on the construction of recruit buildings do it as you wish my lord has made a quick decision look when monsters are at banging at the door you don't have time to think about stuff you just got to go you just got to make some decisions you got to be a shot caller you got to be a big baller really so let's go ahead and finish off the castle upgrade here we need to let's see we have a building let's use oh it was free I'm glad I didn't use the speed up there it was it was literally free okay so we're level five castle now which means we can claim this material chest normal okay we've got some material chests and boom we made more progress in the battle pass here as well it's called rising road oh and we have growth quests so logging in we've reached level four barracks level four b system oh we did all this earlier this is all free okay we have three more skill points and i'm definitely gonna put them more into development do i need to max that before we get harvest i do that's see i feel like we don't need load right now because we have enough resources but there's no choice so we'll have to do it let's build another training grounds here and we already know what bella's gonna say so let's just go ahead and do it three more power here we can build one medic tent my lord our troops have been in battle for a long time and hospital capacity is also a long-term problem that needs to be solved it's time to build a medic tent yes medic tents can increase the hospital's capacity for healing the wounded build it right away go ahead and do that we'll hit this and boom instantly build that and let's collect our food while i'm here too but that is good and then we can recruit 30 mages as ranged attack units mages are incredibly outstanding my lord can recruit some to give them a shot okay you just reminded me okay let's go ahead and do that so we'll recruit some mages so it looks like of course you know we have the infantry cavalry archers and okay so we've got we've already unlocked tier two actually because remember tier one was this guy tier two is the orc warrior let's see what tier three is advanced swordsman orc berserker bro look at that thing imagine seeing him on the battlefield i would actually it'd be a problem okay tier five is master swordsman tier six elite orc warrior tier seven elite swordsman bro is a giga chad tier eight orc knight tier nine royal guard looks sick tier 10 orc warrior captain 11 is the imperial guard he's literally like glowing 12 is orc infantry marshal that's so sick and 13 royal infantry marshal look at all the skulls those are like the skulls of his enemies what about the cavalry because we started with mounted knights dude his weapons glowing at tier one we have elite light cavalry heavy dragon rider elite heavy cavalry dragon rider officer oh, it's like poison coming out of his mouth elite cavalry commander dragon rider general literally on fire elite cavalry captain dragon rider captain imperial rider what is that worm heavy cavalry marshal jesus we have the royal wings cavalry marshal literal giga chad we have longbowmen elf archers crossbowmen elite elf archers elite archers holy elf archers golden archers elf royal guard holy archers looking sick royal guard captain imperial that was a big jump like that was that dude is sick elf ranger and royal archer captain look he's got three arrows at one time bro and we got the mages okay so that's novice mage that looks like you know gandalf or dumbledore right elf accolade apprentice mage holding a ball of fire at level three already elf priest journeyman mage elf sage master mage we have elf elder 
and Archmage, Grand Elf Sage, bro, Imperial Mage, Grand Elf Sage Captain, dude looks like a literal Giga Chad, pure arcane magic here, and then Imperial Mage Captain, that is legendary, that's sick. All right but for now we have only got uh, we only got the tier two so let's go back over here to tier two we'll recruit we'll recruit 30 of them we'll do a quick little speed up here so we got five minutes there and then uh, there we go we are finished and let's claim that quest for board and we finished chapter four there we go quest line complete let's confirm that start upgrading the castle five and let's actually do a couple things let's claim all these quests which we have not done yet oh my god that's crazy can this button claim them all no it can't i wish that was the thing look at all the speed ups and free resources we're getting this is this is actually exactly what you need at the start of the game just as many resources as possible boom and we're finished with that and then there's the other quest reaching 5,000 power and now we've hit level five which is perfect let's check the system mail it looks like we have plenty of Free. Oh, okay. We have a teleport recall troops, move building, change Lord name. Perfect. Beast skill scrolls. So, okay. We got a lot in our mail. I should have checked my mail earlier. Let's go into Lord skills. We'll max this out. And now we can do harvest used to instantly get six hours worth of output from all your, re all your resource buildings. Holy, that's really good. All right. Let's claim this from our Chronicles of War. Let's get that. Oh, this must be like a server progress thing here. So let's grab that. Let's grab this. Ooh, free goodies for a new server. I love it, brother. I love it. This is so good. Oh, we get this one as well. Let's go. Freebies, baby. Let's go. All right. We got plenty more chapters to go for the server. That's awesome. We can finally change our name to Omniarch, which is exactly what I've been wanting this entire time. Boom. There we go it's lit Put a little self promo in there boom there it is dude let's change our profile oh that's a giga chad right there i mean it's got i got it right i mean like come on boom there it is let's use our lord experience card boom and now we're level seven immediately always make sure you check the inventory for the things that you collected earlier what does this do get 500 troops level one can be used at barracks level one okay oh my god we have so many troops now okay this is actually really good I have no idea if I'm supposed to be using this, but I'm going to use it. Let's use a random material chest. And there we go. We got tons of that. Let's use the Valhalla course here. So boom, we get more HP again. Oh, this is get the skill selection time when the stage starts. So at the beginning of the game, you get it. Okay. That's really good, but we don't have enough for that. Oh, oh, we do now, boys. We do now. Let's go, dude. And there we go. Level eight. Wow, we're cruising. So when you level up, it looks like you're getting even more of these points here. So we can do food production or wood, wood production. We're going to need both. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter here, right? Like we're going to, we're just going to do that. And it is what it is. And now we can claim all the quests that we've done 10 more. Oh my God, dude, this is an insane amount of speed ups and we leveled up again. I just can't stop winning. I just can't stop winning. All right. We put more points in development. I'm going to just try to build as many of these empty buildings as I can. Cause they're going to be part of the story later anyway. Right? Oh, we can just keep, we can just keep doing this for free. Yeah. A lot of these, we can just upgrade for free because it's, it's such a small amount of time. Yeah. Let's do that for the farms as well. So we can get as many resources as possible. How do I unlock a second builder queue? Ooh, we actually have one for one day already. That's good news. So we're upgrading all the farms here just to get them all done. And we'll do the sawmills because that's going to be equally as important here. What is this? It says, welcome my child. Balthazar. Okay. The flames of war are about to die out and the chaos will also return to peace. The desperate people finally have a chance to catch their breath, but this wounded world didn't leave anything for us. The only things left are the endless waves of hardship and terror. This guy's a real, uh, real charmer. Luckily, we still have you. Oh, thanks, Balthazar. The future world is relying on youngsters like you to go into battle and work hard to make it better. Go, my child. Become a powerhouse. Establish the new order and lead your people to the peak. All right, Balthazar, I got you. Ooh, we got five more quest rewards that we can complete here. Oh my God, dude. We just can't stop winning. We just can't stop. It's crazy. Can we forge a dagger? Ooh, we can, I think. We've got, we've got the materials and... Oh, we got one second. 
boom there we go the dagger has been forged we got our first weapon baby so now we can equip it wait what happened to my dagger did it not work all right so as you can see here we already went from 3,000 power up to 24,000 power and we put a bunch of upgrades into our heroic evolution we got a bunch of skill points in development I feel like we are primed to really pop off here in war in order and we're on part two of chapter five so I think we made really good progress today if you want to try out war in order for yourself then make sure you click the link in the description below again I want to thank war in order for sponsoring today's video without generous sponsors like them it wouldn't be possible for me to make the content that I do here on YouTube so please if you want to support the channel it is absolutely for free to download the game and give it a try there will be more war and order on the channel in the near future so this is definitely going to be something that we continue up with if you guys are curious I am in realm 17 1912 here's the location of my city right on the map here and oh my god it looks insane look at all these like oh my god bro these monsters look crazy out here what is this I can't wait to see what all this is about tell me how the monsters in the trees in this game look better than rise of kingdoms and this game is literally eight years old oh the realm list looks really cool too because it's not just an actual list it's literally a globe and you can see all the different servers on the globe that's actually such a cool idea anyway guys like I said if you want to try war in order the link will be in the description below it's absolutely free and while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a war in order video drop a thumbs up while you're down there it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other players might see it and comment down below what you think of war in order have you tried the game before it's been out for a really long time maybe you've tried it already but if you haven't what do you think of the game leave it in the comment section below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace